Hello everybody. Today I will be giving my younger self advice regarding a healthy lifestyle to maintain a healthy body and mind. If you're interested, keep watching. Hello beautiful friends, this is Monica with Nourish Functional Nutrition. I'm a certified nutritionist, a functional nutrition and lifestyle practitioner. Welcome to my channel where I show you how to get to the root causes of your condition and how to use food as medicine. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap on the bell so that you can get notified when I release a new video. Many times we acquire new wisdom and we wish that we could go back in time. As I was thinking about that, I thought, what would be the top advice that I would give my younger self regarding lifestyle practices? And I wanted to share that with you. What I would say to my younger self is be sure to prioritize sleep. Understand how important sleep is for you. Getting at least seven or eight hours of sleep per night is going to make a huge difference in the grades that you get and how you feel and how your body builds and repairs tissue. As a younger person, you don't appreciate this, but as you get older, you will start to understand the power of getting a good night's rest. And remember, that begins the night before. You need to go to bed earlier so that you can get up earlier. Tip number two, love and accept yourself. Stop being so critical and such perfectionist. Perfectionism is not going to get you anywhere. Love and affection for yourself is going to grow into love for others and less criticism for people around you. This is going to help you in your affirmations so that you can speak positively to yourself and stop complaining and speaking of things that are not necessarily uplifting for others. So I would definitely tell myself to be more positive and to practice by practicing affirmations out loud. I love myself. I am powerful. I am capable. I'm going to have a great day versus it's raining outside. The sky is gray. I feel down and why try? And so I find that speaking to myself and hearing my own voice helps me get uplifted and it also sets me for the day to uplift others. Tip number three, exercise and movement. That means not just running because when I was a younger person, I used to run a lot and I felt like that was the panacea for everything. Over the years, I have found that exercise comes in many forms, whether it's dancing, walking, practicing yoga, flexibility, strength training, all types of exercise are good for the body and the more we move, the better we feel. I would have told my younger self to practice other forms of exercise besides just running. Tip number four, don't underestimate the power of stillness, prayer, and meditation. Make sure that you practice either all three of these or one of them so that you can be in touch with your God and you can learn to know Him better and to understand what you believe. Stillness also helps us gather ourselves before we start the day. And it's important to understand that the limbic brain, the primitive brain, tries to take over into stress and anxiety. And when we take the time to meditate or pray or be still, we are accessing the prefrontal cortex, which is the higher self. And the higher self is that calm, cool and collected part of the brain that tells us that everything's going to be okay and that would go a long way towards controlling your stress and your anxiety. Tip number five is to be grateful, live in gratitude, and express that gratitude often. Make sure that you understand that everything that you have is something to be grateful for. And that living in the future and living in the past is only going to lead to anxiety. And that is something that we want to avoid. You cannot have fear and gratitude at the same time. Choose gratitude whenever you can. Tip number six is to live in community, to make sure that you love on your family, your friends, the people that are in your community, that you give more than you take and that you make a difference in other people's lives. I hope that this video is going to give you something to think about. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Tap on the bell so that you can get notified when I release a new video. I am available to work with you one-on-one -on -one or in groups and you can find Find more about that on my website at nourishfunctionalnutrition.com. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.